girls and boys from the Wetzel School Age Group. This is Mr. Steve again talking to you about a STEM thing. Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. If you notice in my hands, I have a piece of aluminum foil. And on the table here are a stack of coins. I'm going to use the same piece of aluminum foil to show you that it will hold all those coins or some of them. But first off, I'm going to show you this. Here's the aluminum foil. Notice that it's in a tub of water. I'm going to put, to start off, one coin, two coins, three coins, four coins, five coins, six coins, seven coins, eight coins, nine coins, 10 coins, 11 coins, 12 coins, 13 coins, 14 coins, and 14 coins, the aluminum foil has sunk. Now how can I stop that? Think for a minute. Have any of you ever been on a boat? I don't mean a rowboat. I don't mean a canoe. I mean a big boat, like a cruise ship. Look at how big it is. Does it sink? No, it's not the Titanic. Now, I'm gonna take this piece of aluminum foil out of the water with all the coins. Can everybody see me okay? And I'm going to make a boat out of my aluminum foil. But I'm just folding it over here so I can get a nice little sealed up boat. This is what happens when you get to be 67 years old, your fingers don't work that good. I had to get in my age there for you guys. So some of you think I'm 25. Oh no, is that 55? Justice, how old do you think I am? I hope you watch this, Justice, because you're mentioned in it. Now, do I have the shape of a boat? Somewhat, it's kind of goofy, kind of horrible looking, but I hope it's gonna do what I want it to do. Now remember, these are the coins that I took out of the boat to start off with. All of these coins right here, I'm gonna put them all back in the boat. And remember when it sank? Oops, there, dropped one in the water. It's gone down to the bottom of the ocean. Oops, uh-oh, that was not working right. If at first you don't succeed, what do you gotta do? Try, try again. Here I am again, now with the same piece of aluminum foil, but look what the shape it is in. It looks like a funky looking boat. So now I'm gonna put those same, how many coins do we put in? 14? 14 coins. Here's five. Here's another five. Here's seven. And the boat is still floating. So now I'm going to add some more coins to it. Watch what happens. Whoops, whoops. Oh, I added three more coins and then it sunk. But the reason it sunk is I put all the weight in one corner, which was a big mistake. But now you can see how ships are built because you've got this air in the middle and it's called displacement. I hope you learned something new about science, technology, and engineering and mathematics. But we also have to remember it's now called STEAM. Science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. And if you look on the Wetzel page, there's all kinds of really cool activities to do from Ted Ed. Like, why isn't the earth covered with poop? What do sea turtles do? All these crazy things are on these web links. High schoolers too can look at this too. So if you have an older brother or sister who's in the high school, tell them about it. They got some really neat stuff on there. Ted Ed, have a good one kids and enjoy your time away from Mr. Steve. <laughs> Boys and girls of Wetzel Sack, the USS Wetzel in its all glory. It held more coins than the first one. Have a good one again. <laughs>